What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Road to Dirty series. Today's episode, we've got ourselves to challenge. Past, present, not so much future because we don't sign anybody. Newcastle United is going to be difficult. The team itself looks alright, playable. We're jumping into the weekend league though and that's always a challenge. So if you can drop a like on the video, 2,000 likes would be very much appreciated. We do have ourselves a marquee matchup to unlock 84 plus team of the week from any team of the week I expect. So that could be pretty interesting Let's go and do it. So Japan versus Australia. The qualifiers have been uh, underway. Uh, some good matches, actually. So hopefully England can do well and also Italy. But this one, Japan, Australia, yeah, like you weren't even needing any quality of card. So let's pop that open and go to the next one. I just made it with this one. France versus Netherlands, 85 chemistry. We got it exactly because of this man. I position changed him. Well, we could have done the same for, uh, is that Tornstra? Yeah, it's Tornstra. They got a team of the season as a centre mid, which was pretty good. I used him uh, not so long ago. Right, that's all done. Let's go. Uruguay versus Argentina. And Cambiasso, who we converted for the past and present into land side, came in handy because we were needing him to be placed in that camp position. So, yeah, that's all good. Again, four red cards through this time. Gold exactly. Team overall 85. Perfect. The last one, I thought they were going to make it tricky. Not at all. Minimum quality, silver. So I just built a full English side and dropped in the required player. Well, United States or Costa Rica. And we had him in the left back position. So in total, I didn't spend any coins on this because we received those weekly rewards. Uh, 100, no, it wasn't a 100k pack. I think they were like 50. I don't know what packs they were, but we got a lot of players from them and consumables. So this all, it's all good, man. So let's go and open the 84 plus team of the week. This time it's going to be a good one, I promise. I honestly think even if we receive average players from these packs, we're going to be in the money, in the green. We're going to make ourselves some profit from the marquee matchup. So it's all good. Right, first one, rare goal pack. Let's find out. Big flare? No, medium. Skipping it. Nice and quick so we can get over to that 84 plus. Obviously a big player is going to help us out, bring back some of those coins. Small flares, right wing back Perez. This is the reason why I ignore him in sub, uh, some of the squads. Well, previously when I was uh, trying to get chemistry with Florenzi and I had uh, Perez as an option and I went and purchased somebody else that wasn't needed because he always is set as a right wing back. I think it's best to ignore what I said about making profit. I don't think that's going to be the case. No, small flares again. Center back. Skull. Yes. Skirtle. He was actually rock solid for Liverpool. I liked him. Uh, Gradle and fitness. We could redeem it on this last one. Is it going to be the case? It's not. It's really not. Right, that's fine. We've got the 84 plus to look forward to. Oh, Henderson 82. I'm not even going to count this pack down. We're getting ourselves a walk out. Let's go. Oh, don't give me an 84. It's Donnarumma and he's already got a team of... Oh. 84 plus 84 plus oh dear me is always 84 we actually did make some profit not from those packs from these sales asensio 79,500. i think i bought him for 75k somewhere around there better Arby, i got for 22 sold him on for 26 and Murata we picked up for 150 55,000 or was it 170? One or the two. I just have those two figures in my head. Well, we sold him for 199. So that's some um, tidy profit. Lamar went for 190, who is very good. I recommend you to try him. And Jamie Carragher, 139. We made coins actually on these guys as well. Whenever I buy like past and present teams or informs in general, I always end up making coins when I don't want to. And then at the start of FIFA 18, is going to be very difficult. I've got some trading tips, but I'm not going to spoil it right now. It will be inside of the Road to Glory and I will show you that they work because I know they're going to go into it. It's basically like 100% profit. And yeah, I can't wait to show you. So yeah, let's go into the past and present Newcastle team. Believe it or not, guys, we have two legends in this team that I haven't yet used on FIFA 17. The first one being Sol Campbell. Now, I believe the reason why I never got around to try him was the fact that we were so involved with Laurent Blanc, Rio Ferdinand, and I didn't want to break that partnership. This guy, though, looks like a tank. 137,000 coins, 6 foot 2, low attacking work rates, which I like. 78 pace with the Shadow Chemistyle is going to be fine. And some say he's still sliding. That never-ending slide tackle. It's funny. 
still to this day. Uh, and then the second legend is Shearer. Me being a Newcastle fan, I, I don't know. I just never really have wanted to use Shearer on the game. He, he doesn't suit the way I like to play. He's a target man. And on FIFA 17, you've got to be good with your feet. I'm hoping that he plays similar to a team of the season, Harry Kane. I don't think that's going to be the case, though. Kane will destroy him on well, every single stat, and he's a lot quicker. 135,000 coins is cheap. What I hope to do, though, 6 foot, 84 physical, hold on to the play and bring in Gale from that cam position. I will switch up the 4-2-3-1 wide to a narrow formation when we get into the game. But Shearer is an absolute legend and one of my favorite players uh, from Newcastle. And we've got Given. To be honest, I really like Gibbon. That's why I dropped him into this team. He was fantastic for us, and it was a shame to see him go. Just a really solid keeper. Right back position, Yedlin. Got to use him. I paid 90,000 coins for this card. Yes, I am using a silver, but with those stats, it's like a cheapish, or well, cheapish gold, pretty much. We've got Mbemba. I think he's been performing quite well this season to start off. And with our defense, and we've got an injury with Dummett, he's been having to play as a left back. So, he's filled in well and I like him we got Campbell like you know Milner we tried actually in the last episode but he was a past Newcastle player so I dropped him in and I, I enjoyed him even though he's got a 72 pace he did do well John Joe Shelby this guy needs to sort out his anger problems so we can actually use him uh, imagine him returning though with, with how well we played against West Ham we've got Shelby back and personally the way I, I would like to uh, see it is have him as the number 10 get a little bit more out of his passing and vision because he's clever and he can pick out a pass so i wonder how that's going to work maybe his pace isn't the best well it doesn't really need pace in real life uh Teote, you guys know what happened to Teote. he sadly passed away and unfortunately he picked up injuries just because of the style that he used to play and then when he came back, he never really could get back into the starting 11. And like I mentioned, he recently has passed away. And it's such a shame, really. So, yeah, Teote, hopefully we can do him proud and we can play well. We've got Richie in the right mid position. Uh, I don't really like Richie on the game. He hasn't got the best of shots. So, his pace... The lack of shooting, but the dribbling, I hope that we can work it. Do I get on that cam position and Atsu in the left wing spot? I think, oh, it's going to be difficult. I'm not even going to lie. It's going to be difficult to attack with this team. We're going into the weekend league. Uh, wish me luck. Custom tactics haven't changed. We're going to be using these tomorrow for the Faisal game against Chesnoid, uh, who's a good friend of mine. So we'll play him and then maybe that video will get uploaded uh, later on when you're watching this one or I'll save it for Monday something like that Well, you'll see what's going down right guys. Are we ready to jump into the weekend league? I haven't actually played any games since Friday. I've played three games. So here we go. Wish me luck guys I'm seriously gonna need it. Come on Shira. Somebody step up. I need at least two players Maybe three four. I, I just need the whole team to step up. Come on That's a good block Shelby in that CDM position. Over the top to Shearer. Come on, Shearer. Leg it. Run. Oh, he's too slow. Oh, maybe he's not. Always Shearer. <laughs> Always scoring, Alan Shearer. What did I say? I don't even know what I said. Oh, I'm so pleased I got the goal. That was a mistake. Same old Shearer always scoring. That's what I was supposed to say, but I, I don't know what came out of my mouth. I'm just so happy that I scored with him. I didn't think it was going to happen. Oh my god, a mistake from him. Can we get another goal? Oh, nearly. Go down the line. Yes, turn inside. Shearer, is he going to... Oh, Jesus. Shearer with that pace. Oh my god. That was maybe a little bit lucky. Go on, Teote. Play it across. Unlucky. In that first half, our opponent started strong, took control. I got a little bit more confident with the team. Shearer, honestly, is terrible on the ball. I'm finding it so hard just to maneuver him, really. Lucas Perez, who was... Oh, that was slick. That was really nice. That was a terrible shot, though. Uh, Lucas Perez would have been nice if we could get him at Newcastle. But that wasn't the case. Gale, give it over to Richie. And through ball from Shearer. Here we go, Richie. Come on, lad. I've turned him. Yes, Gale, fake shot. Oh, this is sick. Oh, I, I can't believe how well I'm playing with this team. Like, he's a good player. He's trying to take control. But, and he's quit. Jesus. 
It sucks though. I'm I'm gonna be honest. The team doesn't feel that great. We've got a lack of pace from Richie. Atsu's stamina is shocking, so we need to get it done in the first half. We've got Teote and Shelby who aren't the quickest. Wow. It's Oh, we're playing well though. Can we continue this form into the next game? Oh dear, Abamyang. Oh, yeah, I, I'd never like playing against Abamyang. And give it over to Richie. He's in space. Go on, Richie. Nice step over. Uh, infield, that was very lucky. Atsu arrives, and his shot is terrible. In real life, it's n not, well, it's nothing special. But on the game, it really is poor. Mark up, please. That's in. That's in. Oh, and it sucks. I hate those near post corners. Come on, let's speed it up. Let's speed our attack. We've got the players to score goals. Uh, Gale, I know, who's insane. We just need... We just need to get him in front of goal. That was unlucky. That was a good save. Go on, Teote. Hold on to possession. That is fine by me. Yes! I created the angles. It was perfect. He scored the goal, and he hasn't done much after that. So come on, we can we can push him. Do that back to Gale straight away. All he's got is every single player bombing up the pitch, causing me trouble. Gale. Ah. Oh, that was perfectly timed. Sheer. Oh God. We shouldn't feel ashamed at all with the way we've played. All he's done is score a lucky corner goal. Well, he had to put it in the right position to score, so fair play. 60% possession, though, with this team. Absolutely dominating. One thing that I am struggling with, though, is being affected down the right-hand side with pace. So, Gale, we're going to move him as a right attack in mid, and then Richie in the middle. Well done. In the middle. All we need to do now is take our time, pick out the right pass, Richie, oh my god, Richie, driven strike, the one player that I didn't think would score, and it is Richie, I've been trying driven strikes all game, and it goes in, thank you Richie, 64th minute, come on, come on, yes, release Atsu, who the hell is that catching me up, get off me, just fake shot, Shelby's on the edge, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, Shelby, oh my god, My players just, us. What? What is that? What is that that I've just conceded? Before that point, I had an issue with balance. I was going in for tackles. I'd be knocked to the ground. Sadly, guys, we lost the game. I'm cool with that, to be honest. But what I hope that they fix on FIFA 18, even if we're using a cheap team like this, don't punish me for something that I've read. Because with his second goal, especially. I couldn't outmuscle a Bamiang, then it got rebounded, I made a clean tackle, I thought it was a good tackle, rebounded back to a Bamiang again for him to score another cheesy goal, second goal of the game. But it's only a bit of fun, but I hope that they do change that for FIFA 18. In the second half of the last game, we did switch Gale with Richie, and personally, I don't think it made much of a difference. I honestly think it was worse actually, because we need the pace around Shira to really help him out. We really do need to bounce back in this game, come on. I want one goal, maybe two. Well, no, I want more goals. I want like three or four. Shelby, you're just so slow. What a ball. Go on, Gale. Bully your way through. Shearer. Now that touch maybe was legend quality. I didn't think he was going to control it like that. It opened up the chance. And we've already got the goal. Six minutes in. Early goals with Shearer. Oh, we've got Taliska. Ah, no, no, no. Put someone back on the line. Jesus, how hard did he hit that? My god, I haven't tried his team of season yet, but around him, it's gone to Sol Campbell. We're gonna win that. I meant for that to go to Shearer. He's played it through to Teote. Go on, Teote, get that goal. Cut inside again. I mean, if I ever deserved a goal. How can you do that to Teote? EA, you're disrespectful, man. Come on. Give me that goal with Teote. Oh, Shearer. Shearer. It's in. It's going to go in. Please don't hit. Please don't hit the bar. Oh, for God's sake, Hatsu. 1 0, guys. Seven minutes in. Early goal for Shearer. I feel comfortable in this game. Toyote, good skill on the ball. He should have scored. I think EA just messed me up there. However, we've got Gale, who is quick enough. Get off me. Gale running through on goal. This is like guaranteed, man. 
can't. I just... My finishing in this game has been very, very dodgy. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh, thank God for that. We were desperate for that second goal. Well, we haven't scored it yet. Check Tiote. Oh, come on. Go on, Tiote. I thought it was going to go in. I just had that feeling. He wouldn't have saved it. And down the line. Shelby. I'm actually going to... Mm, I was... I was going to cross it in. Oh, he's giving it away again. That's not good. Oh, Shearer. You don't expect him to do stuff like that. That was skillful. He's just so simple. Traditional number nine. Just hit it up to him. Rocket shot. But that, that was that was very nice. I like that. Are we ending it on a rage quit? I think so. Wow. Did you see the stamina from Atsu, Gale, Richie? They are all terrible. And I know it's the 90th minute, but you would expect at least him in the season cars to have a decent amount. He did try try hard and get back into the game with the Bamiang being brought on. It wasn't good enough for this past, present and Newcastle side. So the Newcastle past and present team, what are my thoughts on it? Well, we've got at least three players in this side that without them, I honestly don't know what we would have done and probably lost a lot of games. Sol Campbell was an absolute unit. He is number one for me. His dribbling, 48, it is on the low side, and I think his balance at times, depending on what kind of challenge you go in for, could uh, cause him a few issues. But yeah, for the most part, he was very strong, and I've come up against him a few times, and he's rock solid. Yedlin, he was getting in so many challenges. Even though he's a silver, he has basically gold stats, and he was very important for the team. And then we've got Gale, that although he didn't score that many goals, I needed the support, just the pace in the midfield to link up everybody, because we had Richie that is average on the game. Shearer, do you know what, right? I'm not going to say he is 80 pace, like he, he should have an 80 pace overall stat because he was never that quick, but realistically what they should have done was bump him up in game, like show a 78 overall pace on his car stat, but in game just have him at, at like 85 acceleration or something ridiculous, you know, so you can use him, have him as a Harry Kane type player team of the season because seriously he's got a good shot, but the problem is he's too slow for the game he's just too slow to be used and that is the bottom line so unfortunately Shira, what did he finish on three games three goals so yeah, he can score um he was average i thought he was going to play like that anyway shelby did an all right job chiote was helping out on the defense atsu all he had his pace and i couldn't really do much with him the defense though held out like the back four was really really strong and bemba and campbell like that that partnership there was awesome milner I don't notice his pace at all. Like, I am actually genuinely impressed with M Milner's quality on this game. And then you've got Yedlin as well. So, yeah, I loved it. It was fun to use. Is it the best past and present team that we've used? No, definitely not. But those tactics, man, oh my god, they are actually destroying for me right now. I've got support that legs it up uh, the field in the defense. I'm strong. So, our fatal game tomorrow against Chez. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do our, uh, ourselves proud. I know that he's going to have uh, a pretty strong team and he's a good player. I know he's good. So, yeah, we've got to play well. I'll warm up in the morning and play that match. So, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video. Recommend me some more past and present teams. Maybe the cheaper ones so we can like test ourselves and do some challenges because that was fun i really enjoyed that thanks for watching guys